Hi, I'm Jade, and today I'm disappointed. So, um, on April 7th, I had saved up quite a bit of money to purchase my first DIY Moonshop order, and I was so excited because I absolutely adore Margaret Morales' work. Also, there is Leilani Joy, who is a favorite artist of my sister, and then Medusa the doll maker. Her, like, red-haired women, immaculate. I love the art on there, so I saved up so that I could get these paintings for my birthday, and my husband even chipped in, and I was so happy, so excited. And that ended when I opened my package today. So later you'll see me unboxing, and I seem pretty optimistic, but once I really got to look at the canvases um, without my like blinding light so that the camera could see better, I'm so disappointed. So let me get into why I'm disappointed and then later I'll show you the unboxing because um, there seemed to be some type of insinuation from the owners of DIY Moonshop that I was the one who made the canvases dirty but that is not the case and I'm glad I opened them on camera because had I not had a YouTube channel I would not have proof of that. Actually I've decided to put the unboxing right here so you can actually hear how excited I was in my voice and how optimistic I was for it. You can kind of hear my skepticism but I was thinking maybe the issues I was seeing was just because I had a bright light on it so here we go let's get into um, it. Um and if I sound a little awkward just to let you know I have a friend here so um yeah. She's a bit. <laughs> Don't record me! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get this open because I'm so excited. Like, I was dyeing my friend's hair and I was anxious to get this open. It's, by the way, beautiful packaging. Beautiful. As we all know from DIY Moonshop. Ow! Also, I'm not the type of person to save packaging, so. And as you can see, my name was on it. It was like cellophane wrapped and uh, everything, but I had already taken that off since it had my address. And uh, yeah, I don't want y'all to come to my house and trying to take my paintings. I'm just gonna rip this. Yeah, I'm gonna rip this. For the next part of the unboxing, it's really just noises of me you know, ripping the paper and trying to get it open. I will say they were very well packed, um, but I wanted to show the entire unboxing portion because I don't want there to be any question that I did something to the canvases. Um, I just want to make sure that it's clear that that is how they came. Uh, when looking over the footage, I don't know if you can tell, I am going to upload this in the highest quality that uh, I am able to. And hopefully you'll be able to see that the stuff is there when I opened it, but I'm not sure how it's going to appear since I do have a bright light shining on it and it tends to be harder to show. But yeah, and sorry for the lackluster, you know, attitude and personality. It's, you know, there's worse things in the world. It, it, at the end of the day, like, I'm not hurt. Nothing bad happened to me. I just got a few gross paintings that were dirty. But I do think it's appropriate for me to share what happened so that people can be aware that this is a possibility when ordering from DIY Moonshop, as I have not seen any unboxings where there were anything negative except very small things that, you know, every company I'm willing to forgive if, you know, they stand by their product, but you'll see later that it didn't seem to be the case for me. And I don't feel like I get a good customer service, you know? I will say, in this part where I just take off the wrapper, pay attention to the edges. You can see that there is black stuff on the top of the canvas. Okay, final thing. Oof. As you can see, she very much so packs these. Very nice. Ooh, this is... Okay, I think this one's my favorite. Ooh! I'll put these on the floor so you can see them in full if they're too big. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my god. Oh my god. She a looker. And let me show you the second canvas. <gasps> Oof. I've been looking at this one since I found out about DIY Moonshop. I don't know why. Something about her. 
I just really enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna give it to my grandma because it goes with the style of her room, but I just, she's a mood, you know? Then next, oh, a classic, a classic sleeps with butterflies. Um, two of these are from Margaret Morales. I think one of them is from something, the doll maker, Margaret the doll, no, I'll look it up, but I know it's something the doll maker. <clears throat> And then this one is for my sister. I think I got this in the medium size because I wanted to try different variations of, you know, how things go. And my sister, like, has loved this artist for years, so I got this to do for her. This is La Morte. Ooh! Okay, look at all the drills. <clears throat> These are the drills for this one back here. They look decent quality. They look about the same as if you've ever ordered from Di Diamond Drills USA or from Mary's Diamonds. Uh, that's, that's what these drills remind me of. These are the colors for Sleeps with Butterflies. This is the one for Yumi. And this is for my big girl, Cosmic Lover. Ooh. I'm gonna have fun with that. And then here hold on. I use the code Tiny Worlds of Wonder for this purchase. So it came with free acrylic cover binders for all of the paintings. So yeah, it was Medusa the doll maker. So. <laughs> then Liliana Joy is the one that my, the artist my sister loves. And that painting is called La Morte. Here is Yumi. And these are just acrylic cover binders with pictures of all of the paintings I got, if it wasn't obvious. So I can show those up close so you can see the finished photos. And there is Margaret M Morales Sleeps with Butterflies. And then I did get some old gold, let's see, special drills that came with my Cosmic Lover. Even though these are all square canvases, these are uh, round drills, which is fine. They're still very pretty. I wonder if the lighting's really bad for this. If it is, I'm sorry. I got too excited and I forgot to turn on my ring light. Oops. And then I got stickers as a gift. There's a pig, which I will give to my sister because she loves pigs. And I think this is something from Sailor Moon. So I will give that to my friend Annie. And then also, since this was my first purchase, I got a butterfly cover minder. Oh, look at how cute. And I think these are just toolkits, which I thought I had ordered them without the toolkits, but... I suppose I was wrong about that. So it came with a mighty amount of pens, tweezers. Let's see. I do like that it's paper, at least for this packaging, so that there's not as much plastic. 
lots of wax for more boats. So many boats. And that's it. Oh, also there is another sticker that for some reason I missed. That is potatoes. So there's that. Okay, uh, I think that's it for up close. I will put better up close shots in a minute. And also these are all skinny seven placers. So I'm down for that. That's a lot of multi -placers. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. And then I will show you a better uh, zoomed out version on the floor so that you can see all the pictures and such. That's so many boats. And everything up close. And I will give you my final thoughts uh, up with the camera facing me. Okay. I will also post pictures uh, at the end to show like, cause I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up in video, but I'm going to post all the pictures I took of all the issues with my canvases. Um, you know what, let me show you the drills. As I stated, I got four canvases. These are two of the drill bags, two more of the drill bags. I got Sleeps of Butterflies. I got uh, La Mort. I got Cosmic Lover. And I got Yumi. So I was super excited. If you saw those flashing on screen, they're beautiful pieces. The artists are beautiful. The rendering's beautiful. However, that's not my issue. So I can look past quite a few things when I'm buying a diamond painting, even if it's expensive. But you know, like when these canvases are a hundred plus dollars, I'm expecting something in the ballpark of, you know, Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, uh, distracted by diamonds, you know, really nice quality. And this is not what I got. So I took a, the reason this bag's all like, op it's cause I opened it and inspected the drills. There are endless tabs. Um, these do not look like acrylic diamond or they do, they do, these do not look like resin diamonds. They look like acrylic diamonds. Um, I did ask some people in a diamond painting group I'm in what they thought and they said those aren't even shiny. How are those? Like I've never seen anything like that from DIY Moonshop. So I don't know if they got a bad batch of drills or what, but the drills, not shiny, super tabby and very inconsistent in size. I put them in a drill tray and um, I might put a clip in here later if the video is not too long. So let me move those out of the way. Now, as I said, I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera. So regardless, I'm going to post images of all of the issues that I've had with these canvases. And obviously I've not worked on these. I just received these. There is stickiness and dirt all over the back. At this point in editing, I can tell that you cannot see the issues due to it being bright in my room and bouncing off the white back, but here's one picture just to show the issues before I show more later on. This isn't even the worst of the pictures, just the one that I picked out first, so I'll continue. There's like stains, there's stickiness all right here, and there's like sticky glue residue all over the edges that are covered in dirt and and um, dust, and I just took these out. I have the unboxing on camera, so I definitely didn't do this, which again, when I emailed customer support, insinuated that it must have been me. Let's see, there is a bunch of glue right here. I'll, I'll put these on the table too. All up here is filthy and sticky. I don't know if you can see the black marks. But it's not just the front, which, you know, is the important part, but the backs have disgusting black spots and everything all over. All right here is sticky in the corner. I, I'm having a lot of flashback because of this being white, but as I said, I'm gonna put pictures. I was so excited for this one. It was crushed in the corner. I can deal with that. That's something I can look past. I can even look past the bad drills. But these are disgusting. They're filthy. Like my hands feel like grimy after touching them. There's glue all over this corner. There's streaks in the printing. I don't know how well you can see it 
from there, but there is like, like the printer was running out of ink is what it looks like. There's glue all right here. Look at, there's a big glob of glue right here over the D in DIY Moon Shop. This is all crushed and filthy. And again, there's gunk all over the back. There's like a big glob of glue right here. It's it's not okay for a hundred plus dollar company. And I'm gonna get into the response I got from customer support, which I'm also not happy with. So again, look at how dirty. Do you see the stickiness? You can hear the stick. It's all the way to the edge of the canvas. It's not just around. There's so much dirt and nastiness. There's a dead bug right there in the paper. So that's fun. The printing is all stripey. Like the printer ran out of ink again. Again, more glue on the back of the canvas that's covered in dirt. There's more over here. It, it, it's it's just filthy. There's a line right here. This is not like a wrinkle. No, this is black nastiness and stickiness all in the back. Now, I know I seem annoyed, but I did give them a chance to make it right. So that's why I'm even making this video. Had they made it right, you know, customer service can heal a lot of wounds, but it wasn't good on that front either. So let me get into that. I'm going to say exactly what the email said, because maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe I'm being unreasonable, but I don't think I am. And I did contact people in a diamond painting group of mine. I talked to my family members. I even talked to my friend who was with me while I unboxed these. I can't. Um, you know what? I'm going to put up photos of the screenshots of what I sent and they sent. And um, I will do a voiceover, pause and read, and. Maybe I might do that. I'm not sure. I'm I'm really upset, so I don't know how much I want to really edit this. This is my first time ordering from them, and the only thing that I feel like was the quality I expected was the cover minders, the acrylic cover minders that I got because I used Tiny World of Wonders um, coupon code. And also, in no way am I blaming anyone who made reviews that made me like want to buy or anything. It's not their fault that the customer service and the quality was not there for mine. I don't know if it's because they didn't realize I made YouTube videos or they didn't think I would say anything, but this is also a common issue that I've heard other people in the group say after I posted about my experience. And it seems to be that the people who rave about them are generally people with larger following. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but as you'll see in the emails, if there tends, seems to be somewhat of an insinuation that the dirt and the grossness was partially caused by me as they she sent me pictures of them before they were packaged but I opened them on camera they were for, for sure they had all of that nastiness on them beforehand and I was a little more aggressive in my second email I'm gonna admit that because I'm upset. My family was even like, you, you saved up $420. Quick correction, I had actually saved up $420, but I only ended up paying $380 with a coupon code. So I just want to clear that up. I paid $380, not $420. To get poor quality and the only thing they're willing to do is replace the ones with printing issues. When they're all gross, I don't expect that from $100 plus. This is something I would expect from a $20 like I said in my email, a $20 company from China. And you know what, for that, I would expect some of those issues. I would understand. But the large one that has the most issues, the uh, Medusa the Dollmaker one, has what was a hundred and I think $34. And I got all of these in the square, so they're even more expensive and the drills aren't even good. So, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hear them out if they email me again or if they try and make it right, but so far things don't seem very nice. Uh, I don't feel respected as a customer. I definitely will not order from them again if 
this isn't made right and I definitely want to post this video so that people are warned because all I've ever seen from like posts and stuff is how great they are how amazing the quality is how this that that like the worst thing I've heard is I think diamonds and washi said oh there's some gapping on the square which okay I could deal with that that's fine but all of this for a hundred plus dollars no I'm not okay with it and like I said I saved up for three months to get these like it's not like I was just like oh I have so much money I'm gonna go spend it like I'm really upset so maybe when I am editing this I'll like do a voiceover and be like hey like actually everything's fine I was being dramatic but right now I'm upset so and I know there are worse things in the world first world problems I understand I've been in worse situations in my life but that doesn't mean that this situation doesn't suck I will do a slideshow of all of the damage and grossness and unshiny tabby drills and then maybe I'll come in at the end if, if and talk about it if they emailed back and tried to make anything better um here are the pictures that I have yeah. detailing all of the issues just a big glob of glue um I'm also going to be talking about the emails and you know I could possibly just be in my emotions about it um all of by the way all of the dark black spots those are glue that just have attracted dirt and dust from, I'm guessing their factory and anytime there's a picture of the drills it's because they're unshiny and dull and it when you see pictures of the front of canvases those are printing issues now in the emails I was told that for any of the crumpled issues put a book on it okay I can do that for they said for all the stickiness put powder on it and it should come off shouldn't have to do that for a painting I paid over a hundred dollars for in my opinion maybe I'm wrong maybe you guys feel like that's reasonable but I don't feel like you should have to put that much work into four canvases that you ordered you know where most of them cost at least a hundred dollars um, there was also bugs in some of the plastic and glue that was stuck and if you see like big little black spots those are bugs that is glue um, just for instance, that's glue. I'm not going to say it's bugs if it's not. And all of the edges were covered in glue and dirt. That was a bug. I'm not sure what kind of bug, but you could tell it was a bug. This was the crushed plastic that was along the edge. There was weird cellophane tape going across one of the paintings. I think it was Sleeps with Butterflies. Here's more printing issues. Uh, just that's glue it just doesn't have much dirt on it so it seems clear but yeah there's weird white stains on the back of Yumi as well as some black stains that's more glue that's clear but still very sticky uh, here is the very apparent printing issues on the Medusa the doll maker piece just you know clarifying where they are with the red lines and here's the corner of that painting that had crushed cellophane as well as just dirt and stickiness. Here's more printing issues along that painting. This was the back of uh, one of the corners of the paintings which is also has stickiness. This just went across the whole back of the Medusa the doll maker and more glue and dirt across the edge. More glue, just globs of it. This one was a cleaner one but as you can see it's still there. One of those is a bug, one of those is black smudges. Um, these are just glue and black smudges on the side. Um, more drills with just no shine. So there we go. Okay, hey, um, so I have gotten a final response from the owners at DIY Moon Shop. Um, I already showed the emails I sent along with the photos that um, I have showed earlier in this video. And... Uh, after I sent the strongly worded message, the second one, they said, I'm sorry you feel this way, and um, gave me a refund, a full refund. They didn't ask for any of the paintings back, so I mean, I'm not going to waste them. I'm still going to clean them up and use them as best I can, because I'm not going to waste. Um, 
and maybe I can film like a review at the end to see if the quality is okay aside from the issues I had um but I do want to say that they did give me a full refund um so there's that uh overall in my experience I would not purchase from DIY Moonshop again um was not a fun experience. I did not grow up with a lot of money, so saving up as much as I did to buy those paintings took a lot for me, and uh, it sucked to get a subpar product and then poor customer service. So buy from them at your own risk. I know the artists are fantastic. Margaret Morales, oh, she is a dream. And honestly, I was going to try and buy every painting that Margaret Morales has there, but I no longer will. Um, I am going to see if she does individual licensing so possibly I can get customs done, but I don't feel comfortable purchasing from DIY Moonshop again. So with the information I provided in this video, I hope you can make an educated decision on whether you'd like to purchase from them for yourself. I've only seen good reviews, so I don't know if they send like nice stuff to people who they know will be making reviews or videos, um, because a lot of people in my diamond painting group said that they had similar experiences where the quality was bad and that they didn't um, have good co customer service in response. Um, so I know I'm not alone, but I am the only like, I haven't seen any negative reviews for DIY Moonshop on YouTube, and I know there are small creators who have bought from them, so I'm not sure. Maybe I, I'm just a weird, like, outlier and I just got a bad batch or something, um, but a lot could have been resolved in just good customer service, but the fact that I was made to feel like an issue was my fault and the only canvas that would be replaced was the one with like extensive printing issues. It just left a bad taste in my mouth for this company. Though I love all the artists they have um, partnered with, I just, I don't feel comfortable ordering from them again. So I will stick to Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, Diamond Dots, uh, Mary's Diamonds, is there anyone else? I'm sure there's other companies. Uh, I will be getting a homespun hobby, um, a, like three of their canvases, so I'll be able to see if their quality is good. So hoping for that, um, I'm excited for them. That's for the uh, Summer with the Masters with um, Tiny World of Worlds of Wonder and Diamonds and Washi. Um, sorry this video is not super fun and upbeat. Um, I feel like such a drama queen, but I feel like it's important for people to know not just the good sides of companies, but also the poor sides of companies so that they can make an educated decision on what they want to spend their money on. Um, I am thankful that they did decide to give me a refund after all. And, you know, I can use that money elsewhere to try different companies. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, hopefully nobody else experiences this and I'm just an outlier, an outlier, uh, but I felt like I should share my experience and some of my followers on Instagram, they also said, no, you should definitely say. So I'm not alone, uh, in a Facebook group I'm in for diamond painting and crafting and such, I posted my experience and asked for advice and I got some. People were telling me to contact them and then telling me about their experience that their experience wasn't good. Now some people did say that they did have good experiences or that they didn't experience things like this or everything was fine or they experienced things like this but not to the extent that I did. So these are screenshots just to show you know other people's feelings so that you know like there are other opinions out there that people did not get what they thought they deserved when it came to their service. Um, so 
you know, I did want to show that, you know, this, this is something that happens and something you should be aware of. So here you are, be aware and just know that this is something that can happen and I'm just letting you know. I think that's all I want to say. Um, let me know your experiences with DIY Moonshop. Have you had good experiences? Have you had poor experiences? I want to know because things were really mixed in the diamond painting group I'm in and I think it's strange that like so many people on YouTube got really good products but then everybody here or every like a lot of people in the group who are just like regular diamond painters just at home who don't make videos got really bad issues and they said their issues some of them were even worse than mine so yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate you if you enjoy honest reviews um and videos on crafting and hair and style or whatever you can sting the like and subscribe button become a member of my hive and you know yeah sorry for the sucky video bye